Oh, there's the bait right there. Mm -hmm. Ross Stewart has been online dating for about five years. Oh, he says, had a great time with you. Thanks for going out last night. Try to get some rest today. And while she's met some great dates, she has some concerns. I'm so wacko about getting killed. <laughs> you know, you talk to people um, via text, and they could be anybody. And they could put, I mean, I've had it happen before, where they put up a picture that's not them. The act of pursuing deceptive online romances, or catfishing, shot to prominence when the news broke of Manti Teo's imaginary girlfriend. But catfishers are just as easily being avoided with a tool that's as simple as Google itself. All you have to do is click on the Google Images button. Or you just click on the little camera. Reverse image search software included on Google, TinEye, or the app PicFind came in handy recently for this student at the University of South Carolina who wishes to remain unidentified. I had a uh, random girl hit me up on Facebook. She started sending me just, you know, messages a normal person usually wouldn't send. But then she started sending me pictures. All it takes is running those photos through a reverse image search to discover every other public site the photo has been on. So as soon as I saw this, sent out a red flag. Uh, popped up all over the internet on a few fitness websites and the Chive. And the student's admirer had apparently used a generic image from the internet, not a picture of themselves. Called him out on it and never heard back from him. But again, not only does it, it says it finds the image, but it identifies me by name. According to David Thomas with the FBI, while it's a simple it tool, what it reveals can be powerful. It's all biometrics and uh, looking at now, we do that within the FBI. We, you know, of course, we've always looked at fingerprints. That's how we identify people, but we're looking at different ways of identifying people now, and facial recognition is certainly one of those. So could Manti Teo have avoided being catfished by simply checking out his girlfriend's pictures in a reverse image search? Not necessarily. The software won't reveal the identity of a person snapped in an original photo. We'll take a photo, we'll take a picture of us here this morning, and we can show that picture that it won't recognize because that photo alone, even though we're both recognizable people because we've been on the internet a lot, it doesn't pick up who we are on that because we just took that this morning and it's not been aggregated through it and it's not tied to any other social media site that we have. So as Ross prepares for her upcoming date with a man she hasn't yet met, she enters his image in a reverse search. Please don't be like that, Kelly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Similar images found. Images with similar colors are found, <laughs> but the photo of Ross's date doesn't show up anywhere else on the web. A promising sign that it's an original photo of the man she's been talking to. But a meeting in person will always tell the true story. Ivory Hecker, watch Fox News. You know this guy? I know him.